Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. I am Mike Fuson. I'm going to continue uh, my discussion with you about live chat. One of the things that we hear from customers is, hey, Mike, we're a team shop or we're um, you know, using Jabber or some sort of chat platform. Why can't we just use that for live chat? <clears throat> well, it's not that you can't. There are technologies out there that allow you to use those chat platforms with your IT service management tools. However, they're not really designed for a live chat type scenario. Um, if somebody goes in and, and it clicks on the bot that gets set up and it creates a live chat, it you know, creates a channel then, um, and somebody's gotta be monitoring all of these channels to be able to do the chat back and forth. Is it a bad thing? No, uh, it's better than nothing. Um, but there are products like Connect Now that are designed specifically for doing live chat. Um, if Microsoft Teams and Slack and Jabber were the solution for all of this, those companies would have already built the technology to do this. And what are some of the gaps that I, that I frequently see? Well, one of the things that we like about Connect Now is the ability to set up um, different groups within the organization that are w within the the Connect Now tool that is um, that are really skill sets. So when a person starts a live chat, it's not whoever randomly is monitoring your Teams channels that sees where that chat comes in. It can actually be routed to individuals that have the knowledge. So if somebody's coming in with a question about something with the accounting system, you're not giving them to a technician who really can't help them. Um, you're giving them to te a technician with the proper number of sk skills, uh, with the proper knowledge. Um, and the ability to know what needs to happen. That's just one small part of why a more purpose-built chat system uh, would be beneficial. Um, it's the same conversation that we get into when you start to look at things like enterprise service management. <clears throat> enterprise service management in most of the core large platforms out there, the sharewells and the service nows, etc., they have a project and portfolio management platform that's in there. And the question we get is, well, is this, is, is this better than Microsoft Project? And the answer, quite frankly, is no, it's not. Uh, Microsoft Project was specifically built and purpose built to manage projects. If you're looking at like Microsoft Project Server as an example, um, the PPM solutions do a lot of the things that Microsoft Project can do, but it certainly can't do them in the same way to the same degree that Microsoft Project can. And so you really have to look at what are our goals? What do we want to be able to accomplish? If the goal is to gain efficiency, just having things come in randomly and having to be handled randomly doesn't necessarily drive that efficiency up. A purpose-built system that has things like skills-based routing, um, has the ability to do that call deflection in the early stages of giving them knowledge articles um, and by asking those questions also then being able to skills-based route, you're going to have that better user experience because that really should be our focus. How do we provide an exceptional user experience? Um, the ultimate goal for every service desk is first call resolution. So shouldn't we be able to route them to the correct individual first um, most of the time? You know, now I talked about in my last episode the ability to escalate a call, so transferring a call or bringing other people into um, a chat um, using Connect Now. And those are scenarios where it could be something complex. But for most of those things that could be FCR, we've got it routed to the right people that can do the right things for that customer and their needs. Stay with us as we continue to explore live chat and the things that it can do to help make your organization more efficient.